Hi, I'm Mike, KBA BMY. I've been a licensed ham for 32 years. And about two years ago, I decided to get into satellite communications. It's been a lot of fun. I'm active on Facebook and Twitter. And every time I post, I get a lot of questions about what I use and how it works out for me. The purpose of this video is to show my current FM station, how I put it together, and where I source the parts, and how it works out. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at the station I use for FM. On all these components within the description section below, you'll find the links to where I source these items. First of all, let's have a look at the antenna. This is an aero antenna, and it's a Yagi design. It's very effective. With 5 watts, you can hit a low orbiting satellite with this antenna. You'll notice that you have uh, VHF elements and UHF elements. Next, our receive radio is a Yezu FT-150. This is a monoband 2 meter HT. Uh, just happen to have it around the house and it works great for receiving. Our transmit radio is a UV-5R. And this has a nice punch on the audio. It puts out uh, about 4 watts on UHF and works great. With this setup, uh, I want to mention that I've worked hundreds of contacts. I've confirmed hundreds of contacts as well. So these radios really do the job. Now the next thing I want to point out is this little bracket I have here. And basically this bracket consists of two components. You'll see that in the description section where I'll show uh, what each is. But basically the top one is for a cell phone uh, mount that you can put on a tripod, like a camera tripod. The bottom section here is to put a camera actually on say a railing or something like that for photography. I put them together and now I have a nice bracket for my uh, cell phone. That's significant because uh, one of the things a lot of people have asked me about is what type of tracking software do you use? And again, we're going to have a section on that. And uh, I'll have that in the links of where I get it. It's called Heavens Above. And of course, uh, AMSAT Droid is a very good app as well. I like Heavens Above because I can actually aim in the direction of the satellite and I can be right on by using that. And I'm going to show that in an upcoming video where I show uh, how I operate with this setup. But right now we'll stick to what it consists of. I also want to point out on these radios that you have adapters. The uh, Arrow uses a BNC connector and as you can see you've got SMA connectors on the radios. So you have to have an adapter and again we have those in the comment section. And let's see what else we have. Uh, short jumpers. These are BNC to BNC and this is about a three foot uh, jumper and we have a six foot jumper here. This allows you to be able to hang, hang on to the uh, transmit radio as you swing the antenna in the direction of the satellite. Now an important part of this station is the MP3 recorder. And a lot of people when they start out on satellites ask, how can I, you know, how can I log? I, I don't have any free hands left. Well, no problem. What you do is you record the pass. And you can use, uh, you can use a recorder on your phone. I like to use a separate recorder. I have a uh, MP3 recorder for that. So basically that's it. That's the setup. And uh, as I mentioned, it's very effective. And there you go.